Ah, nothing like an audition to shatter your self-esteem and bring out your existential dread. <laughs> Help. Hey friends, what is up? It's me, Cat Steel, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking all things audition nerves and how to beat them. Everyone in the performing arts gets audition nerves. You get audition nerves, I get audition nerves, Laura Benanti gets audition nerves. Just because you get nervous before an audition doesn't mean that you're broken or a scaredy cat or not cut out for a life in the performing arts. It just means you're human. Before we jump into the video, two things. Number one, huge thank you to Backstage for sponsoring today's video. Backstage Stage is a great way to find auditions, so we'll be talking about them a little later. Number two, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Katherine Steele and I really like musicals. If you like musical theater, if you want to join an internet Broadway cult, if you want to take over Broadway and then the world, hit subscribe. Question of the day, let's break that stigma. What is an audition that you got nervous on? Personally, something that always makes me really nervous is whenever I'm in an audition or a callback and they bring everyone that they're seeing for that role into the room at the same time and then you have to like sing in front of each other. That always just like makes me break out into a nervous sweat. Let us know about a time you got nervous during an audition in the comments down below. So here are some tips on how to deal and get rid of audition nerves. First off, prepare your material. I feel like this is kind of the root of a lot of anxiety and nervousness surrounding auditions. We don't feel 100% confident in the material we're performing. It is so easy to get rid of those nerves because that is the one part in the audition process you're in control of. Know your material inside and out. Know your choices inside and out. Don't choose material that's wildly out of your comfort zone or something that you can only nail like 60% of the time. Of course, we don't always have that luxury but if you have the option to choose material that you know you nail like nine times out of ten, go with that material. Another big thing to help you lower your stress and your nerves is to do all of your prep work like a week in advance. Nothing throws me off my game more in an audition when I'm like running late and I'm trying to scramble out the door and I have nothing to wear. Do all that stuff like a few days in advance. Pack your dance bag, prep your sheet music, figure out what you're going to wear. Anything you can take care of ahead of time, do so. Don't leave it until the day of the audition. I talked a little bit about this in my like life advice birthday video I just did, but I've found that I have so much more control over my emotions and my anxiety and my nervousness if I understand where certain feelings are coming from instead of just leaving them as an amorphous black cloud of bad energy around me. Do I sound like a hippie? By that I mean like figure out why exactly are you nervous about this audition? Are you afraid that you're going to perform badly during the audition? Do you feel like you're underprepared? Are you afraid that you won't get the role? Why exactly are you nervous? If you're afraid you're going to perform badly, yeah that's a possibility. We all have off days, but it's not something you can control so worrying about it makes no sense. Are you nervous because you know you're underprepared? prepared for this audition? Go prepare. You can immediately solve that problem. You're afraid of the competition. You have no control in that, so don't worry about it. I know that it's easier said than done, but really kind of surrendering what you can't control in life will just make you so much happier. Breaking down what exactly about this audition is making you nervous or weighing you down can really help you feel in control of the situation and not make you feel so helpless. Another great way to take control of your audition nerves is to turn that bad energy into good energy. When you feel scared or nervous about your audition, just keep telling yourself that you're excited. You Use that shakiness and transform it into energy and make yourself like the most naturally caffeinated person. Something else that's totally changed my life in terms of auditioning is planning something fun after an audition. After your audition, go get some froyo. Meet up with your friends to play some video games. Go see a movie with your family. It really grounds you and makes you realize that an audition is just kind of part of your day and not this huge massive event in your life that will overtake you and destroy you and decide your future. It's just a thing you're gonna do before you pick up your cheat meal for dinner. And it also reminds you that you have a life outside of theater. You know, if you don't book this show or this student film or whatever you're auditioning for, your life isn't over. You still have movies and Froyo and your friends and family and video games and the next audition. This is just one in a million out there and just one in your long career in the performing arts. And you can find your next audition on Backstage. 
backstage. I love Backstage.com. They are an excellent service to help you find your next audition. You can filter things like your ethnicity, your location, the type of project you want to work on, and then Backstage will curate a list of auditions that specifically fit your needs. It's a great way to find auditions, professional or otherwise, without an agent. Personally, I've used Backstage both as an actor and a casting director, so if you want to sign up for Backstage, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you again to Backstage for supporting the Theatre Thursday fam and the geeky educational content we do here on the internet. Again, if you're new here and you love the performing arts and slash or performing arts cults, hit subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!